in a recent video, which I'll put a link to below, I listed all of the now defunct coal companies which have gone bankrupt over the past 10 years. All of them as a result of cheaper alternatives, solar and wind. The IEA is basically saying that over the next year, or maybe two years max, a slew of coal companies will also go bankrupt. All you have to do is put the numbers together. And this is exactly what is happening. If you're invested in any way, shape or form in a coal or fossil company, you need to think twice about that investment. Experts are estimating that in 2024, the amount of renewable energy worldwide will double. The amount of battery packs that we use to store that renewable energy will also double. And they're saying that by 2025, so within one year from now, renewable energy will replace coal as the largest source of energy worldwide. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. At the COP28 climate conference in Dubai last month, world leaders from 130 national governments agreed to set a goal to triple world renewable energy installations to, well, a humongous number by 2030. Whether or not they'll achieve that, I don't know, but I know a lot of them will. I mean, look at Germany, for example. They hit well over 50% renewables in 2023. Australian growth for renewables has been similar. Even China has installed an insane amount of renewable energy over the past year. In fact, more than the rest of the world combined. However, we need everyone to pitch in. The International Energy Agency released its Renewables 2023 report earlier this month, marking the first of the organization's climate analyses released since the, the 2030 goal was set. The report says that, well, renewable energy is going to do more than what people realize. The report shows that under existing policies and market conditions, global renewable power capacity will grow to 7,300 gigawatts over the 2023 to 2028 period covered by the forecast. That means solar and wind will account for 95% of that growth. And it also means, more importantly, that renewables will continue killing coal. We just saw the last coal power station be turned off in Hawaii. It was replaced by a Tesla mega battery. We've seen battery installations grow at an incredible pace worldwide and solar and wind grow at a staggering pace as well. And what this has meant is coal power plants are being turned off all over the world. Why? The reason is this. It's usually cheaper, in fact, almost always cheaper to turn off an existing coal power plant and install solar and battery backup than to continue running coal power plants because many of them are currently running at a loss. They need to be running at 70% generation capacity to not make a loss. Most of them are not running at that capacity. In addition to this 2025 prediction for renewables to overtake coal, the agency says that global renewable energy capacity added to energy systems increased by 50% in 2023, and it expects the industry to enter the largest growth period yet over the next five years. So 50% growth of renewables in 2023. They're saying renewables will grow at a significantly higher percentage over the next five years. Despite this optimistic uh, op optimistic claims, according to some, I don't think they're optimistic. In fact, I think the IEA often underquotes, not often actually. In fact, if we look at the IEA's predictions over the past 15 years, every single prediction they made for the last 15 years, every single one understated the growth in renewables, every single one of them. And Tony Sieber, in fact, mentions this numerous times in his speeches. If you look at the growth of solar, wind, and batteries and the cost trajectories, the IEA constantly underquotes every single time their growth in the future. So their predictions might sound optimistic, but in fact, they're, all, they're always actually pessimistic. 
They said this, despite the unprecedented growth in renewables over the past 12 months, the world needs to go further to triple capacity by 2030. So which renewable sources will grow at the fastest pace? Well, they mentioned a lot of them. They in fact mentioned solar. They also mentioned solar PV systems such as Tesla's virtual power plant pilots using power walls, hydropower, onshore and offshore wind and other sources like H2, so hydrogen production. In addition, concentrated solar power, ocean power, bioenergy and geothermal, but clearly the largest growing source of renewables by a million miles, solar and offshore wind, but solar is definitely number one. Onshore wind and solar PV are cheaper today than new fossil fuel plants everywhere and cheaper than existing fossil fuel plants in most countries, said Faith Birrell, IEA Executive Director. There are still some big hurdles to overcome, including the difficult global macroeconomic environment. For me, the most important challenge for the international community is scaling up financing and redeployment of renewables in most emerging and developing countries. So they're seeing difficulties here, but some of the futurists who make predictions and get them right, like Ray Kurzweil and Tony Sieber and others, Peter Diamandis for one, are saying actually the IEA, they're being pessimistic. These predictions for tripling renewable energy by 2030 will be exceeded. And they don't say this because of some kind of like emotional feeling. They say this simply because of facts, mass, data. The cost declines in solar wind and battery packs is not going to just stop tomorrow. Those cost declines last year, we saw batteries fall in price by around 38%. Solar panels fell in price, Chinese made solar by 42%. US-made solar fell by a lower percentage, but it still fell in price by nearly 20%. Here are the insights from the IEA's renewables report. Global solar PV prices declined by nearly 50% year over year in 2023, and the IEA expects cost reductions and accelerated deployment to continue. So that as solar panels continue to be cheaper, as more and more of them manufactured, well, more of them will be sold. It's it's a virtuous cycle. Last year, China commissioned as much solar PV as the entire world did in 2022. While the country's wind power, at, while the country's wind power increased by 66% year over year. In the US, the European Union, India and Brazil, solar and onshore wind projects are expected to more than double between now and 2028 compared to the past five years. Solar PV and wind account for 95% of the 7,300 gigawatt renewable expansion between now and 2028. The IEA recommends more rapid policy implementation to grow solar, wind and battery storage at a faster pace. One of the reasons for this is it simply makes economic sense. It's not just about the environment. Yes, of course, we all wanna live. We don't wanna fry to death. We don't want the world to heat up to the point where species are going extinct and we end up going extinct. We don't want that to happen, but Economically, it makes sense. Like Oxford University said, hundreds of analysts put together a report for Oxford University showing that if the world speeds up our transition to renewable energy, we'll save more than $10 trillion. What are your thoughts on this? Do you agree with the IEA? Do you think this will happen? What do you think that they're understating things like Tony Sieber says? Thanks for watching.